this is it. This is the episode. If you watch one episode of one cartoon or anime, I guess you would call it this year, watch this episode. Trust me. This here is Attack on Titan, a uh, crushing blow, the 57th Expedition Beyond the Walls, Part That's 5. That's what I'm talking about. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters and female Titan supporters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, and I'm here to bring you another review on the action-packed, grisly, titan-filled, at least this episode anyway, tale of, you guessed it, Attack on Titan. Now, the last episode and the last couple actually have kind of been the calm before the storm, the uh, the building up of just sort of the, the, the relentless feeling of this, this unstoppable force, this female titan that seems to be coming after Eren. So, uh, last episode wound up leaving off with uh, one of their comrades having been killed, uh, the, 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 obviously the Levi squad, uh, Gunter, had been killed by, we presume to be, the female titan, uh, somebody that has ODM gear as well as a, a scout cloak on. Um, and they, they presumed it to be Levi, and uh, unfortunately they were wrong. So that's how things left off. Things actually pick up right there, and this was a, this was a cool one. This was the one that I had been waiting uh, to, to see with my family especially, uh, and in English, ever since I, I did originally see this last year. Um, this episode is just fantastic from start to finish. Um, we wind up seeing, you know, as as Aaron and them uh, figure out what's going on, and this uh, this mysterious figure winds up dropping back, and then all of a sudden a flash of light and lightning and smoke and everything else. All of a sudden, you know, out comes the female Titan, just you know, just bearing down on them again, and uh, and, and Petra and uh, and and uh, Erd, I think his name is, and, and Otto, they you know they tell Aaron just go on ahead, trust us, trust in your teammates, we'll take them out. I never understood the whole theory of that, because I understand that they're trying to protect Aaron no matter what, come hell or high water, but four, just by my simple mathematical skills, is better than three. And uh, But anyway, he, he goes on and trusts the three to go back, and really the first half of the episode is just gut-wrenching. They've spent the last six or seven, maybe eight episodes introducing us to and building us up to Levi's squad, right? Which, uh, along with Levi, are these badass titan-killing machines, right? They all got... You know, their, their KO ratio, their kill to death is really good and blah, 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 right? They're, they're the top performers. And within the first few minutes of the episode, we see them go in and systematically attack, disable, and take out the eyes of the female Titan. She immediately backs herself up to a tree uh, to go and obviously protect her weak spots and what have you. And they, they uh, assume that they have about a minute before her eyes regenerate. And, uh, and as they go and start cutting the flesh from her arms, eventually to cut off enough muscle that the arms will just fall and they'll be able to strike the weak spot... All of a sudden, uh, as uh, I believe it's Erd winds up coming at her, um, you know, winds up coming to, to, you know, to strike the killing blow. She opens up one of her eyes. She's got the hair hanging over the other one, and she just, 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 just takes him out, man. And I'm like, oh my god. And I mean, looking at my wife's and my son's faces, they were just like, <gasps> you know, <laughs> my oldest son had a bad feeling to begin with, but uh, you know that that it wasn't good for them. It didn't bode well, especially when Aaron moved on. But anyway, over the next couple of minutes or whatever, the, the, the female Titan systematically dismantles and kills everybody. Uh, I mean, just brutal kill. Winds up stepping on Petra, uh, winds up taking Otto and, uh, and just kicking him into a tree and smashing him into it. I mean, it's bloody and gruesome and grisly and what they don't show you can imagine. And that really, in a nutshell, is like the first half of the episode. And you're thinking, man, I'm watching this. I'm thinking, can't humanity just get a win? Can't we just catch a break, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. The other thing I didn't understand either was that uh, Commander Irvin knows that, uh, you know, has a feeling that the female Titan has more tricks up her sleeves and was not actually killed, but still wound up not sending Levi to actually catch up with his squad. And maybe this could have all been averted to begin with, so... Um, anyway, what winds up happening, which I thought was great, is that Aaron goes and sees all this happening from, I don't think it's great that he sees it, but when he does see it, and he's looking at it, and he's maybe a couple hundred yards up, whatever the case may be, and as he sees them all be killed, he starts to doubt his decision, and he remembers and has the flash of when Levi told him, hey, listen, change, don't change into it, whatever. I don't know what the right answer is. I can only tell you that, you know, this is what I want you to do right now, but if you don't, I can't tell you that it's wrong either, so... Aaron goes and starts getting some of that self-doubt and thinking, if I had been there, if I had just changed 
you know, 10 minutes ago when I was going to, none of this would happen, they'd all be alive. So Aaron flips his shit, right? And then, really, it's like seeing Godzilla versus King Kong, you know, uh, for the, the rest of, of the episode, for the majority of it. Because Aaron winds up going, and as he's flying through the air, uh, coming at the female Titan, winds up biting his thumb or whatever he does, and he, in a flash, you know, transforms midair, winds up landing and starts busting her, and he's coming at her. I mean, he's coming at her like the damn karate kid, right? And she's moving, she's dodging, it's this really cool, like, like just the like, jujitsu, like, hand-to-hand -hand battle that's going back and forth. And, uh, and absolutely beautiful and stellar the way the animation is. Uh, just watching it on the big TV, just absolutely wonderful, you know. And it looks as if he gets the upper hand on her, and then she gets the upper hand on him. And the battle really, for me, was done very well. It was done so well that, uh, you know, I, I've watched it several times since then because I think that it was just animated and portrayed very well. Aaron is very much a hothead. He's got all this, he's got a lot of strength, no direction, right? A lot of energy, no direction. Whereas the female Titan is this cold, calculated killer that obviously knows what she is doing and seems to have an answer for every everything that comes at her, you know? Whereas Aaron is more one of those, you know, he, he's kind of like, like Rocky, the underdog. You know, he's not the biggest, he's not the strongest, but he fights hard, boy, he gives you everything. But that's also his downfall, um, because as you go and you can see, you see that his anger overtakes him and he makes these big, wide, sweeping blows, punches and kicks, and many of them are dodged or countered uh, fairly easily by the female Titan. And, um, and then there's a, a couple of different opportunities where I particularly, you know, I saw in the, in the fight that was going on that I think he had an opening if he would have just taken the opening, the, taken the chance that was presented, as opposed to going and just kind of growling and roaring and everything else. But anyway, uh, long story short, after several minutes of this battle raging on back and forth and, and towards the closing of the episode, all of a sudden uh, the female Titan goes and they're fighting, they're going back and forth, and all of a sudden you, you don't see how it happens, right? I believe they, they show it sometime in, the, in a flashback or something like that, if I remember right. But anyway, all of a sudden you just see like the female Titan like throw. It looks like the like a, a kick or a punch has gone over uh, across Aaron's face, and his head, the Titan head, just separates and comes off the top of the body. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know? And again, you know, everybody's sitting here like, <gasps> you know, <laughs> just what the hell is going on? The female Titan winds up then going and taking an Aaron. Of course, we know is is in you know like the right around the nape of the neck area uh, of the Titan. Uh, so when the head is, is torn and cut off, he's partially exposed and he's looking all gross and nasty with muscle and blood and tissue and shit all over him. And she just comes over and is like, <sighs> and she just goes and stretches her jaw, man, like a fucking alien and just <clears throat> just bites his ass, takes him whole, <clears throat> pulls him down and swallows his ass up. And then I'm thinking, man, poor Aaron. How many times, like, how many people can say that they've been inside a Titan's stomach and then come out the ass end or lived, right? Probably just Aaron, okay? Every time Aaron turns into a Titan, some bad shit happens to him. And he winds up in the stomach, well, the majority of the time, of another Titan, right? So anyway, the female Titan goes and then just starts going and cruising off. And she's got Aaron in her mouth or whatever. And Mikasa, she could just smell that shit from across the forest, right? Mikasa's like, ooh, somebody touching my man? What, what, what happened? What happened? And Mikasa was like a hound dog, man, just on that shit. Winds up going and actually heading off the female Titan and through back and forth and back. And now, remember, the female Titan's taken out about 50 people, right? And took out Levi's squad like it was nothing, like she was wiping her nose, right? Mikasa come in. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. You go and you try to touch her man because she comes in there, you know, takes and starts taking out muscle points and uh, winds up eventually hitting the tendon of the titan, the female titan. She falls to her knees and stops. And Mikasa, even though she breaks off her blades as she goes for that, you know, that spot that the, uh, the weak spot that the female titan hardens, she winds up bouncing back off a tree and she's like going to come at him again, right? And, uh, and the Levi comes over and is like, oh, girl, come on with me. And so Levi takes her and kind of starts rubbing her back, you know. He starts going and playing some, you know, playing some Tyrese or something like that in the background, maybe some old Warren G. And he's rubbing her back. It's okay, it's okay, girl, calm down. And he tells her, listen, we're just going to hang back for a little bit. And I'm presuming look for the proper opportunity to go and take this thing out. And now I'm thinking, that's how the episode leaves off, you know. And now I'm thinking, oh boy, man, now we're going to get to see, get to see these two titans battle it out, right? Now we're going to get to see Levi and Mikasa. We're going to get to see them go and have a whose dick is bigger contest over who can cut down the female titan first. Because, you know, Mikasa, she a bad bitch to begin with. And, you know, of course, she got love on her side. She had nothing but love for Aaron, right? And Levi, I don't know what his motivations are other than that he a badass and he look a little weird, but he like and he likes to clean. That's like his little fetish. He liked to clean. 
But um, we saw that back in episode 13 or 14. And I was like, uh, really? Uh, could you maybe take that apron and fucking doily off your head? It looks a little bit weird. So, <laughs> anyways, that's how the episode ends off. Absolutely astounding episode. Loved everything about it. And really, my uh, episode question for you, brothers and sisters, is do you think Aaron did the right thing to begin with? Do you think that he should have uh, activated and turned into a Titan sooner? Would he have saved any lives? Why don't you weigh in on that question in the comments down below? Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, or just because it's a fucking nice thing to do. <laughs> and uh, I'll look forward to catching all of you in the next one, nation. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out my other channels and follow me on Facebook and Twitter too.